Good God bless you today and forever. My name is Keith Sanford, also known as Reverend Kicks. And I am so happy to be back with you. Just wanted to come to you and give you an update, talk about, you know, just what's going on on the channel. You know, as you can see, I'm trying to uh, be better at editing. I'm sorry if there's been some sound difficulties, you know, I'm trying to get it right trying to upgrade the channel just trying to bring the best uh, content I can to you guys and also just wanted to bring you along with my everydayness you know now that the brothers retired you know uh, from my service the federal government I spend most of my time either with my family or some close friends and uh, my joy is to help so the areas in which I help people at is with disability, military disability, federal disability benefits, um, uh, things of that nature. Also, you know, um, I, I do do ministry where I do pastoral care ministries, you know, uh, still uh, speak at different churches and um, I do funerals and weddings and counseling baptisms and things of that nature as well and um, community outreaches and uh, those things bring me joy you know I, I really that's my life's blood is trying to be uh, in some shape some way shape or form a blessing to my family first you know and my friends and those of you that know me know that but I have friends and family outside of this community that reach out to me through email and through this channel that I am uh, connecting with and trying to build relationships with so you can see that happening as you look through the channel and things like that and how we have grown in such a supernatural way that that um, that it's it's only by God's grace that that's happening. Uh, my vision and my goals are to share those experiences with you to bring to encourage you to be transparent so you can get to know me more and also to be able to leave something to those people that love me that know me or may just happen to come by the channel to to see people share their life experiences and what they feel is something that they can pass on to this next generation you know uh, and that's my whole that's 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 the motive behind this channel purely wholly is, is, is that's that's our that's my desire that's my goal and um, I am so glad that y'all guys are here with me. I really would like to know y'all guys better. And if y'all have ideas how we can do that, I want to do that. Um, in the next few months, I will be trying to go live and do uh, Q&As and also do interviews with people that are special in my life and interview them to get them to share those experiences those uh, and ask them questions on what they feel like is missing what do we need to underscore what do we need to highlight what do we need to showcase and share with people that have been forgotten those old traditions I grew up in a time where where we ate at the dinner table every night everybody together there was no cell phones there was nobody it was all about what's going on in the lives of those in the house in the family though even when we had guests you know that was it that's when we shared stories and we began to reminisce about stories about ancestors and about relatives and about history and about you know just all those important things they were passed on by mouth you know and and and, and, and also during that dinner time you know uh, uh, there would 
they would begin to talk about recipes and who did it first and how the different varieties and where it came from. And see, uh, we we're, we're living in tap in 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 times past, you know, where that is not a value now. So that's what my focus will be. That's where I want to. I want to get those people that I know and I love that have something uh, 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 concrete and profound to say and get them to share their life, their story, to give us a better picture of what is valuable in this world because it's like confetti. We get all mixed. We all get caught up in the in the in the in the in the in the, in the celebration and the and the ticker tape and and in the in the in the uh, in the highness in the, in the in the in the amusement of 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 things and 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 sometimes uh, the majority of people in the world get, get get their priorities so jacked up that they lose their identity, lose their focus, lose their their goal and their purpose, and they get mixed up in this muck and. And, and mire of this world and and, and 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 we were created for so much more than that for purpose and, and 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 I pray in some small way that I can bring that out in my channel so that not only you would be blessed but I would be blessed too that I could remember you know what my grandmother uh, instilled in me with my relatives, my uncles, my my cousins, you know, my 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 family, my 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 elders, my coaches, my teachers, all those people that were in my life that were so special in my life. I want to put them on film and ask them the questions and get them just to share from their heart. The things that that, that, that that they value that are important that they see missing or or that we need to focus on that we need to highlight underscore and things like that so 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 I just wanted to share that with you for the for the last several minutes so that you can have a clear picture of what 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 what, what uh, I am all about amen you know we were talking about let the rich say I'm poor but it can be vice versa. Let the poor say I, I'm rich because, you know, uh, value is not always placed in monetary gain. You know, we were in Luke chapter uh, six, verses 19 and 20. And let's go back there and I want to read it again. OK, Luke, Luke verse six, he's a, it's the Sermon on the Mount. Dr. Luke is, is sharing the Sermon on the Mount. Amen. And he says, he says in, in verse 19, and the multitudes were seeking to touch Jesus for healing power came out from him. Amen. And, 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 and there were people that were troubled with unclean uh, spirits and disturbed and they were all being healed. He goes on to say that they, he was curing them of all diseases and, and all their calamities. And then when he was doing that, he solemnly looked at his disciples and he began to minister to them and he said blessed are those of them that are poor and lowly in spirit and afflicted because the kingdom of God is theirs and and uh, he was sharing us that attitude that contract that poor and contract spirit uh and he was talking about how important it was and how much of value that was in his kingdom. Jesus was rich, but he made himself poor. The Bible said that he was smitten and afflicted by God. The chastisement of peace was laid upon him and by his stripes we are healed. He, he, he came from heaven down. He clothed himself in sinful flesh. The Lord of Lords, the King of Kings did that. And he made himself subject unto his very own creation. And, and the spirit of humility is lacking in a lot of people's lives because of the influence of pride, arrogance, 
self-righteousness, conceit, and 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 and, and uh, vanity. Solomon said, "Vanity of vanities, all is vanity." And, and, and he just he just focused in on the necessity of us pleasing God. You know, you know, poor poor people are more humble than those that are wealthy. Mm -hmm. They're easier to 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 to. to they're more forgiving. Gosh, they're so much more forgiving than than a lot of people. They are they are so much more um, accommodating. They're more patient. All these characteristics are characteristics of Jesus Christ. Amen. You know, although the poor man doesn't have money, most of them have great faith, even if they're not saved. They have faith in the ability to. They have the faith. They have faith in the ability that God's going to provide, that they will be provided for, that they will be able to be taken care of, and that although they don't have the means by which to do it themselves, that help is on the way. Amen. And and they don't depend on themselves. You know, they depend on. They depend on 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 God's gift. You know. His gift of grace and his gift of, of mercy to supply their needs every day. And, 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 and you can see how Jesus, when he was addressing the congregation, the, 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 the multitudes, mm -hmm, that was a mix of leadership, mm -hmm, uh, laymen, and, and people that didn't even know anything about Jesus, just regular, ordinary people. He, he, he was ministering to them all at the same time. And he was saying that I'm going to supply all of your needs according to my riches in glory. Uh-huh. And, 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 and he was sharing that this spirit, this poor and contract spirit, is one that is always first on his mind. You know, and if we think about it, most of the things that bring stability in our life, most, thing, most of the things that bring peace and satisfa satisfaction and completeness and wholeness, and identity in our life, uh, 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 you can't buy with money. Mm. See, money can't buy you everything. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 can money buy you happiness? Mm -hmm. Can money buy you peace? Uh, can money buy you health? Ask, ask, uh, um, 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 mm -mm -mm. ask, um, not Bill Gates, but the creator of Apple. I can't remember his name. Y'all know his name. But he died of cancer. And he, right before he died, he, he, he said, I realize that, 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 that no matter how much money I have, there's things that money can't buy. Remember King Midas? What was the story of King Midas? What was a valuable lesson that that, that taught us? Hmm? Everything he touched turned to gold. But he put his hands around his loved ones to embrace them. And that gift turned into a curse. Amen. Don't don't get too high minded in your life to feel like all these things came upon you because you're so good and you're so smart and you're so educated and you have all these different abilities. Baby, that blessing can can turn into a curse. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and until we consistently yield to the leading of the Holy Spirit. Until we consistently yield to the to the ministering spirit of God that brings down the high and he, 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 he exalts the lowly. Until we can develop an intimate relationship 
with the Lord Jesus and allow him to pour into us all those good and precious things that come down from above. We can get things twisted. So we need to have a slow and contrite spirit. We need to be quick to repent. We need to be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger. We need to have operate like Sergeant Major Moreno was sharing in the ministry of reconciliation. Whew. Boy, I wish I could break that down. That man started talking about those gifts of the spirit and talking about the 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 the, 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 the the, the ministry gifts and start talking about um, the manifestations of the spirit and boy we had about an hour talk I was only able to put about uh, 20 minutes 25 minutes on there because we were talking about some personal things that I didn't want to put on on uh, YouTube but let me tell you I, I I I I was thankful that we met because it stirred something up in me, although there were some 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 things that I didn't quite understand that he was sharing. It was something that awoke in me the necessity to continue to do what I'm doing and just to be open to hear what God is saying. Amen. And not get stuck in one spot continually to look for what God is going to be saying next, amen, not only what he said then and what he's saying now, but what does God say next, amen, and uh, as I close today, I want to pray that that same spirit mm -hmm, that the multitude came in contact with when they were in Jesus's presence, when Jesus was there and, and 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 the anointing and the and the the, the 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 power to heal was upon him and those that were sick those that were lame those that uh, had that were oppressed with, with with devils Jesus himself healed those people that were troubled he healed those people that had unclean spirits he healed he, those that had severe illnesses, severe challenges and calamities. He healed and he gave them satisfaction. Mm -hmm. He blessed them with joy, life joy and God's favor. He blessed them with salvation. Outward from the conditions that they were facing. And, 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 and he, he made himself known to them. I pray that over your life today in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask you right now, Father, that your presence would touch and transform lives, that you would speak the word to them, that you would lay your nail-pierced hands on them, that you would drive out every unclean spirit, that you would bring peace and joy, direction and identity into their life that you would give them favor with you and with man, and that you would always, Father, be their Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for being our Savior. We thank you for being our King. We thank you for being our confidant. Thank you for being our counselor. Thank you for being our mighty God. Thank you for being our everlasting Father. Thank you for being the Prince of Peace. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. In Jesus name. Amen. I love you guys. I pray this blesses you in some small way. All honor and glory goes to God. I bless you today and forever. I love you today and forever. And all those that you love, spend a moment lifting up their names to the Lord and ask them, ask Jesus to be as good to them as, they, as he is to you. And even your enemies, that they would come into contact with the presence of God and they too would be here. In Jesus' name, I love you guys. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye-bye.